Hi guys, my name is Tessa and I'm going to be doing a massage for Karina today. We're going to be doing a massage for Karina's legs and feet and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm actually going to start with some active release in Karina's glutes because um, that tension in the glutes definitely travels down the leg. So I'm going to start by just making sure that Karina's not holding any tension on her leg. I can move it without um, much resistance. And I'm just going to start with some really light um, compressions along this hip and glute and gradually start to increase my pressure. And part of this is also just scanning from right to left to see which side might be tighter. And just working my way up and making sure that my wrist isn't bent. That's um, it's just a lot safer if you can make sure that your wrist is straight as you're doing this kind of work especially when you start to apply more pressure. And I'm going to start increasing my pressure a little bit as I get a better idea of how things are feeling. And I'm going to start to hold a little bit longer as well. And really, every body is different. Sometimes I, um, I'm able to be more effective by doing small movements with the leg and other times doing bigger, broader movements is better just depending on the body and the amount of tension and I'm just holding, starting to increase my pressure a little bit more. And so after about two, um, two times working my way up that glute, I'm going to start really uh, applying more pressure and spending a little bit longer. Nice and slow, not really rushing through any of this. And I'll do the same thing on the opposite side, but I'm going to go ahead and work on Karina's left leg. And I'm just going to apply um, oil where I need it so that I don't have to keep getting oil throughout the massage. And right now I'm just trying to find a rhythm. And this is more about getting the oil on than anything. And I'm going to start working my way up into that medius muscle. And just being really careful as I work, I'm lower to the ground and I'm working away where I'm not having to bend my wrist too much. 
And same thing, I'm not starting with max pressure. I'm really um, taking my time with these muscles and um, just being mindful of how well they're responding to the current pressure. And I'm gonna start working my way into the hamstring a little bit more. And just some nice consistent pressure as I work my way up. And this is certainly not the only way to work the hamstring muscles. It's my favorite way. You can also, if you want to, you can use your forearm, you can use your elbow. It can also be a really nice way to work, especially the medius. I just find that I have um, more sensitivity, I guess, working this way. And I'm gonna start to move a little bit slower and I'm gonna start applying a little bit more pressure as I work my way up. And just not being mechanical, really um, being mindful of how everything's responding and also taking note of where I might need to use my thumbs to a little more detailed work. I'm gonna start working my way into the hamstrings gonna start working my way up and it helps a lot if you use both thumbs um, it's just easier on you and it usually feels better I'm just working my way up and this can feel really intense so it's just nice if you can kind of switch back and forth between different techniques. Um, I'm, I'm not one to like really spend a whole lot of time overworking an area. I really like to go back and forth. That's just me. There are some therapists who work a lot differently and they're great at doing it that way too. And I think these hamstrings are tight enough that I'm going to go in just a few more times and just working my way up a few times this is um, just great for um, Clearing those muscles of lactic acid if you work out a lot. This is great work for you. And I'm gonna start working my way into the IT bands just briefly. So I'm just making sure that there's plenty of oil. And you want to be nice and low to the ground here, nice wide stance. And just with the heel of my hand, I'm going to start working my way up. Usually I um, would be sitting, but you can also do this just with a wide stance. And I'm not trying to get super, super detailed with any of this, just giving some love to the IT band. And I like to work my way all the way into the attachment if I can. And I'm gonna start working my way into the calf. And I'm more focused on the hamstring today, but definitely not ignoring the calf. 
just briefly. And this usually feels really nice. And really, no matter who I'm working on, I try to combine more focused, um, detailed work, just, you know, things that feel nice, relaxing. And I'm going to go ahead and move to the opposite side, make sure I apply oil. sure that I don't have to stop and start my massage, making sure I have plenty of oil the first time. And just going in with lighter pressure to start. actually just realized that I forgot to do the active release on Karina's glute and I'm actually going to do that after I finish this hamstring work. So just warming up these muscles, this soft tissue. And I do recommend doing um, if there's a lot of tension in the hamstrings and the calves, working on the glutes first is just a really effective way to go about it. And right now I'm um, ready to start increasing my pressure. So I'm gonna start getting into that medius a little more, with a little more pressure and focusing mainly on the hamstring. And really scanning right now to see where Karina needs the more detailed work. If I were to do all of this with my thumbs, I would be it would be a lot harder. So just being really selective with how much I use my thumbs. Making my way up. And just like on the other side, kind of going back and forth between different techniques, broader and more detailed strokes. And working the soft tissue in between um, doing that deeper work. Just super healthy way to do massage. And working my way into the IT band briefly. Um, the IT band is definitely a place where you need to gradually increase your pressure. It's really sensitive. Not spending a whole lot of time. just working on the calves briefly. Not really my main focus today.
And since I forgot to do active release in the beginning, I'm going to go ahead and not neglect this right glute. And sometimes you can actually see um, if the glute is tense moving the leg before you even put your hand down for the active release. And starting with just really light pressure, just um, warming up the soft tissue and also um, scanning the muscles to see where I need to focus my attention. I'm going to just start going a little bit deeper. There's usually going to be like one or two spots that um, need this more than anything. Any of the other spots. And I'm just going to start holding and going deeper, just gradually. end this massage with um, a real treat so I'm actually using this product it's called barefoot scientist and I am in love with this product um, there's a few different things I'm going to use here so I'm actually using this clean slate towelette to um, clean Karina's feet and um, before I apply that oil, I'm just gonna, and honestly, this smells so good. I don't typically wash my clients' feet before I work on them, but I just really wanted to um, let you guys know about this product because I just like it so much. And there's the, um, this is called Sigh of Relief, and I'm going to use this a little bit later, but it's um, just really nice for reducing inflammation, and it smells so good, too, like in love with this product. And um, this is great for therapists as well. It's called Twinkle Toes, and it's for um, actually eliminating bacteria. Um, odor causing bacteria and I know as therapists we can sometimes have some challenging moments with that kind of stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this on here before I start working and it smells so good um, so before I use this the sigh of relief I'm gonna do the the massage but this is just a perfect way to end Pretty excited about that. And I'm not gonna do anything super detailed today. I'm just gonna end with some relaxing foot massage. Just making sure there's plenty of oil. And I really like to, it's definitely not necessary to hold the foot, but I just really like um, doing foot massage that way. I feel a lot more secure for some reason doing it that way. And I'm just using nice, um, you know, broad broader strokes <laughs> K 
Corrine has really nice feet to work on. They're just really easy to work on. And to get into the ball that foot, I'm just doing a little um, rotation with my, my soft fist. And really working the feet in this way is, is my favorite rather than working with the fingers. And I just think it feels better too when I have it done. And can't forget about the toes, just using nice firm pressure. And this right foot, I'm just gonna do the same thing. And honestly, this um, product smells so nice, this Barefoot Scientist. I'm a huge fan. And same thing, just that soft fist, just rotating the ball of that foot. Paying a lot of attention to the art. Finishing with nice firm pressures. I squeeze on those toes. And like I said, I'm going to finish um, off with a sigh of relief. And this is probably my favorite product of theirs. Again, it's really good for um, reducing inflammation, calming inflammation. Um, and it smells really, really nice. So. I'm just going to, and it's kind of tingly, it's just really, really nice. No right or wrong way to um, do ointment like this. can just save a little time by doing both feet at the same time. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I look forward to seeing you next time. If you enjoy these videos, please join us at PsycheTruthPatrons.com for dozens of exclusive videos and premium programs. We have over a thousand videos you won't find on YouTube, such as modeling and fashion hauls, exclusive massage videos, ASMR, behind the scenes, bloopers, and much more. It's a great way to help us keep the cameras rolling so we can continue making the content you love. Patrons will get two to three new exclusive videos each week, so I hope you'll consider joining our Patreon family today. Just visit PsycheTruthPatrons.com.